Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. 3x plus square root of 2x equals 8. Our target is to make all of this one the subject. Okay, we need to remove this one from here. So we write 3x plus square root of 2x then minus 3x since we want to move this from here. So on the other hand, we have 8 minus 3x so that this and this will go. We now have root 2x equals 8 minus 3x. The next target is to remove this root. So write square root of 2x. To remove it, we'll square the power, um, we'll square everything. Then the square will reflect on the right. We'll square this. Now this will take this away. So we have 2x to be equal to what we have here in two places. 8 minus 3x into 8 minus 3x. Some students, they'll change the sign in between them. They'll make this pose um, negative and the next one positive. But that is wrong okay it simply means you have this in two places okay so we have 2x to be equal to 8 times 8 is 64 then 8 times minus 3x will give us negative 24x then this times this will give us the same negative 24x then negative 3x times negative 3x that will give us that will give us some um, positive 9x squared okay so this is 2x equals 64 minus 24x minus 24x is minus 48x then we have plus 9x squared so this has given us a quadratic equation, but we still need to rearrange. So the one with the highest power here is 9x squared, and it should come first. Then we have negative 48x. If this goes to meet with the rest of this, we'll have negative. It will turn to negative 2x. Then 64, that is plus 64. Now, 0 is on the right. We have 9x squared minus 50x plus 64 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation. And we're going to solve this using the formula method. Remember that the formula has a, b, c. Okay, so our a is the coefficient of the first term which is x squared. So the coefficient of that is 9. So a is 9. Now b is the coefficient of x. That is minus 50. And our c is a constant and is 64. Now one of the most difficult things to do while using the formula method is to remember the formula. The formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. So let's substitute into the formula now. x will now be in place of minus b. Negative, negative will give positive. So I'll write positive 50 plus or minus b squared will be negative 50 in bracket squared then minus 4 times 9 because a is 9 then times 64 for the c the whole of this will be divided by 2 times 9 because a is 9 okay so from here now our x will be 50 plus or minus we have square root of minus 50 squared it will give us 2500 
then minus 2 m 4 times 9 times 64 is 2304 so we divide this by 18 now our x will be 50 plus or minus square root of 2500 okay we're going to subtract this before finding the square root so this minus this will give us 196 divided by 18 and if you must know 196 is a perfect square okay because we can find its square root and it will not give us a, a decimal number so x will be 50 plus or minus square root of 196 is 14 right so we we'll divide this by 18 so this is plus or minus so this means that our x is 50 plus 14 over 18 or 50 minus 14 over 18 right so to continue with this our x is going to be 50 my 50 plus 14 50 plus 14 will give us some um, 64 right so we have 64 over 18 or 50 minus 14 will give us 36 over 18 so from here we are going to have the solution okay so our x will be 64 okay 2 into 64 is 36 okay it's 32 rather so we have 32 and um, 2 into 18 will give us some um, 9 then on the other side 36 divided by 18 that will give us some um, 2 so we'll write 2 over there okay so this one if you like you can stop over there or you still continue and get something decimal let's get it decimal so x will be equal to okay so from here we get approximately x is 3.56 or 2 but both of them here are positive and definitely the both of them will not satisfy the equation the equation is 3x plus square root of 2x equals 8 okay it's obvious that 2 here is the solution if you put 2 here we have 3 times 2 plus square root of 2 times 2 will this give us 8 the answer is yes because this times this will give us 6 plus square root of 4 like some um, that is 2 times 2 and this will give 6 plus 2 and 6 plus 2 is 8 that is what we had on the right hand side so this means that the first solution here has to be rejected because it does not satisfy our x is 2 thank you for watching